Tesla is going to bring a new generation of Tesla batteries and the mass production is apparently going to start from 2023. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage and give us thumbs up, please. So Tesla obtains the batteries for its electric cars from a cooperation with the Japanese electronics groups Panasonic. According to media circles, this should go into mass production next year with a new lithium-ion battery, meaning Tesla's 4680 batteries, which I reported a couple of days ago. Tesla fans can look forward to more powerful batteries and more range in their Tesla vehicles once the new 4680 batteries come into production. So it seems a new generation of Tesla batteries is just around the corner. The US car maker gets its batteries in cooperation with Japanese uh, Panasonic, among others, like LG and Cattle and so on, while the battery manufacturer supplies the individual cells, Tesla ultimately assembles them in its battery factory in Texas. The Asian news portal Nikkei Asia is now reporting that Panasonic intends to mass produce a new lithium-ion battery from 2023, and Panasonic also announced that the new batteries should increase the range of electric vehicles by 15%. So this new generation of Tesla batteries should give Tesla a 15% range boost. The first deliveries should go directly to Tesla. However, in an interview with Nikkei Asia in November 2021, Panasonic did not rule out working with other electric vehicle manufacturers either. So if this happens, this tells me that the other car makers' electric vehicles will also increase their range by approximately 15%. In order to be able to mass produce the new generation of batteries, Panasonic wants to invest uh, a lot of money. The manufacturer manufacturing facility in Wakayama Prefecture will be expanded with an investment of $700 million to accommodate the necessary equipment for mass production. The annual production capacity of the Wakayama plant has not yet been determined, but according to Nikkei Asia, a capacity of 10 gigawatts per year is expected, which would correspond to around 150,000 electric vehicles. However, before mass producing begin, begins, a small trial production is to be started this year in order to establish safe and efficient manufacturing technology. If production is in the Japanese plant, production expansion in the United States and other countries are also planned. So, this is going to give Tesla more range and more performance. The new lithium-ion batteries are the 4680 battery cells that Panasonic delivered, actually developed at Tesla's request. According to estimates, the range of a Tesla Model S should be extended to 750 kilometers with one charge using this new battery generation. Can someone please uh, convert it to... And miles, uh, I will try also to do that in, in my comments. The battery will be twice as heavy as the older generation, but the performance is said to be five times higher, which is why it is assumed that fewer battery cells will have to be installed in the individual vehicles due to increased efficiency. It should also be possible to produce the new batteries 10 to 20 percent cheaper. Now, Tesla competition stays on the ball. But despite this further development, Panasonic is facing a lot of competition from other battery manufacturers. Tesla itself purchases batteries from the Chinese manufacturer Cattle and the South Korean battery manufacturer LG Chem in its Gigafactory in Shanghai. And Cattle has also announced that it will make a number of investments to further develop its batteries. LG Chem has similar plans. Now, Tesla wants to make batteries itself, of course. In addition, Tesla plans to manufacture the required batteries itself in the, in the long term in order to reduce its dependence on external suppliers. This was announced by Tesla CEO Elon Musk during Battery Day in, back in September 2020. At the same time, however, the CEO backtracked in a series of tweets ahead of the event, assuring Tesla intended to acquire more battery cells from Panasonic 
Ionic LG cattle uh, and not less after many Tesla followers and uh, asked questions if this means phasing out Panasonic. Incidentally, Panasonic did not want to confirm the press report from Nikkei Asia to the Reuters news agency. The Japanese electronics group said we are evaluating various options for mass production, including a test production line, which we will integrate into our business this year. However, we have nothing to announce at this time. Of course, they will not announce at this time. They need to wait until uh, they can have something in place up and running and then make the announcement. So what do you think about this, friends, about the new generation of Tesla batteries? What do you expect from Tesla 4680 batteries? And uh, will Tesla offer to change or swap batteries, increasing your range? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. Look at our records, see how many Tesla stories we report every day. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Give us thumbs up, like this video, and let's move on to our next story. Have a blessed rest of the day. Tesla's revenue will exceed GM and Ford combined by 2027 says Morgan Stanley. Big news, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. So Morgan Stanley expects Tesla to surpass GM and Ford combined by 2027 as it significantly increases its market share in the United States. The firm's price target for Tesla is $1,300, which represents 40% upside potential. Since I mentioned the stock, I want to be disclose that I'm not the stockholder and I'm not in the stock market. Tesla reported a strong quarter for 2021 per, um, earnings with 65% year-on-year sales growth, prompting analysts to revise their forecasts for the manufacturer's future development. Morgan Stanley analyst Adam Jonas believes Tesla will generate more revenue by 2027 than Ford and General Motors combined. That's big. He wrote that the zero-sum game is hard to see today, but it should become obvious over the next 24 months. In his research note, Jonas highlighted the main thesis. Here are the main thesis. First, Tesla US market share was 4% of sales up 63% year over year versus the broader market unit volume down 10% year over year. For the full year, first conservative uh, uh, firm conservatively estimates Tesla's U.S. share will average 35%. Morgan Stanley estimates that typical Tesla sold commands an average transaction price of approximately $60,000 or roughly 30% above the U.S. average ATP, implying an adjacent wallet share of 4.6%. To be honest, I don't know what ATP is. If you guys know, please let me know in the comment section. Next is applying its Tesla. Tesla North American growth forecast through 2030 to the firm's forecast of US SAAR. Morgan Stanley estimates Tesla's US unit share reaches 10% by the end of 2026 and nearly 18% by 2030. Jonas wrote that the estimated Tesla share of US wallet should reach 10% by 2025 and 23% by 2030. In a zero-sum game in a low-growth auto market, if someone gains share, Morgan Stanley believes there must be a group of share donors. Firm estimates Tesla can gain well over 1,000 basis points of share by end of the decade, implying some significant share donors along the way. For example, Morgan Stanley estimates GM's U.S. market share, 14.6% in the United States in 2021, falls to 14% by 2026, uh, 25, and is less than 12% by 2030. That's GM's U.S. share. F this firm also estimates Ford's U.S. market share dropping from 125% in 2021 to just over 10% by 2030. Jonas forecasts Tesla's share of U.S. auto wallet revenue share to surpass GM by late 2026, early 2027. These are big, big announcements, right? Big forecasts. So what do you think, friends? Uh, this report said Ford's share is 125 percent um, probably um, 
uh, the report uh, which was presented uh, in Tasmanian and uh, uh, by Jonas meant 12.5 percent so we'll see how things are um, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com friends please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news let me know what do you think about Tesla revenue will exceeding GM and Ford combined by 2027 how many cars Tesla should make in 2027 to get to this level um, please subscribe to our channel give us thumbs up like this video share in social media have a blessed wonderful and joyful day and I'll see you soon in our next report